Hello, let's do another simulation involving filters. So here we have an op-amp, first order, active filter. We can see that we have a capacitor in the feedback. <clears throat> and so at high frequencies, the capacitor is going to become a short. And what we see is that that's going to attenuate. The V out is going to go to zero. Now, to calculate the cutoff frequency, we have 1 over 2 pi R, the feedback resistor, C. And so we see that this is around 15 kilohertz. Let's go ahead and simulate it. And we say that actually this is what we expected. Now let's imagine that you actually want to create a bandpass filter. Oh, before going doing that, notice that the gain is 20 dBs or a gain of 10. And that is what we expect at low frequencies. Before the cutoff frequency, the gain is going to be given as RF or minus RF over RI, 10K over 1K is a gain of 10. You can see that at DC, the, oper the capacitor is an open, and so this is just an inverting amplifier. Now, if we want to create a high pass filter, we can just put the resistor here. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to cut my capacitor there and place a resistor, sorry, a capacitor right here. So I'm going to do like a one micro. Now, if we want to ca calculate what would be the cutoff frequency, in this case, the capacitor is interacting with Ri. This is what is creating the high pass filter. Notice that at DC, this is an open, and so at DC, the output is just going to, the voltage at the inverting input is going to be equal to the voltage at the no inverting input, and that's zero. Now, the cutoff frequency that we expect in this case, 1 over 2 pi, 1k, 1 micro. It's a very low, so, oh, sorry, a second. 1 micro minus 6. So it's 159. Actually, let's make it even. I'm going to do design one with a cutoff frequency of 15.9 by choosing here a 0.1, sorry, a 10 micro. <laughs> okay. So we expect a cutoff frequency of 15.9 kilohertz, let's say, and this is a high pass filter now. We see that actually that works. Actually, let me get here this. this uh, Notice that the, although this is a high pass filter, at high frequencies, we are going to see the effect of the limited bandwidth of the amplifier. In this case, it's around 1 megahertz. I'm going to go here just to 1 meg. So there we have a kind of a high pass filter okay let's imagine that we want to create a band pass filter can we combine the two yes surely we can combine the two we can just go ahead 
and other capacitor. So we did a low pass filter, now we did a high pass filter. Let's add the capacitor back here. Let's do the 10 nano that we had before. Sorry, we had one nano. Uh, and so we expect here a color frequency of 15.9 kilohertz for the low pass filter or the upper corner frequency and still 15.9 hertz for the high pass filter or this frequency here, and we get a band pass. Let's check here the value. Oh, we, we change the value of the resistor. There we go. So we see that we can create a, a high pass filter right here. A low pass filter right here, and then we still have the gain of RF over RI. Now, the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter is determined by the capacitor as well as RF, and the cutoff frequency of the low, sorry, of the low pass filter is determined by C and RF, and of the high pass filter by the capacitor and RI. Now, if you want to have the degrees of freedom of choosing the resistors because you have more resistor values than capacitor values, so you may select a capacitor that you have and then you adjust the resistor, what you can do is you can do one stage for the high pass filter with this network right here, and no gain. So, one stage then for the high pass filter, for the low pass filter and then another stage for the gain. So you can use three stages, low pass, high pass, and gain. Thank you.